Okay, so here we are. This is just a little bit of a recap on feeding the dogs. This is my Rottweiler, my German Shepherd, both full blood, great animals, um, healthy teeth, strong gums. Come here, let me see your teeth. So, just it's crazy to see growing up how tartar buildup was so much different um, when feeding a dog kibble and how different it is now. If this guy will let me see how healthy their teeth look. Come here, Bubba. Okay, but um, just no allergies, no dermatitis, coats nice and thick, and today's just uh, going over organ day for them, um, actually for y'all, and I mixed their organ meat, which today I'm using um, calf livers, I mix in a little bit of fish oil, a few raw eggs, and uh, they'll have a little bit of pure meat with it, which will be the cheek meat, and of course their treats, they love these uh, chicken necks. You gotta be careful too, because when you're training dogs to eat raw, if, if they're adults or even as pups, you know, anything smaller than their head, which of course you can see this, this is a lot smaller than his head, you have to just watch them, make sure and be careful that they don't swallow them whole. Now, I will tell you, they have swallowed these whole. My Rottweiler is the worst at it. He's a gorger. He loves to just arr, eat everything up. But he's gotten really good at just taking it slow and eating it like he should. And, uh, even though when he hasn't, there hasn't been a problem. He's not had um, the bowel obstruction, no problems at all. In fact, just healthy dogs. Yeah, that's a good boy. So, <clears throat> just a short video to show you that um, we encourage, or I encourage, the, the ideal of the 80-10-10 diet, which is 80% uh, muscle meat, 10%, 5 to 10% organ meat and then the other 10% 10 to 15% is bone of course you have that all up it looks like 120% but it varies it's, it's just you want balance over time and to tell you the truth my dogs get more bone than they should it hasn't affected them negatively that I can see you know I'm, I can't see at the molecular level what's going on but they seem to be doing just fine they get chicken quarters as their main meal during the day and then once or twice a week they'll get the organ meat and you know, again, guys, if you're if you're hesitant on doing this because of the money, I spend less money doing this than I did feeding them kibble because I'd buy the nice bags of kibble at seventy to eighty dollars a bag. But buying these chicken quarters, at fifty cents a pound is not bad. I get a ten pound bag for five bucks. And I supplement that, when, especially when I'm doing organ meat, because I don't like organ meat that much. It's not as highly desired as, um, let's say, you know, their chicken wings or cheek meat or um, beef. So I give them treat as I feed them their liver. And that's usually in the form of chicken gizzards, which gizzards are not an organ meat. The only organ meat I actually have right here is going to be the beef livers. And it is hard to come by organ meat at times, so I supplement their organ meat 5 to 10%, remember, of their diet. Over time, needs to be organ meat. It supplies the natural iron, it supplies a lot of other good stuff that they need, not just from the muscle meat of chicken or beef, fish, whatever else you give them. Um, I do supplement that with fish oil, and they get their eggs. And this is usually once or twice a week. So, Remember, what I'm doing is not perfect. It's not, it's not to say that I have the, I'm doing the exact 80-10-10. There, there is, at times, um, they get a lot more bone, sometimes 30% bone. But it's over time, and they've been doing great. This has been two years now raw feeding. Healthy, smart dogs. Lay down. Just, uh, just been a blessing. And uh, anyways, I just want to share. I hope you all are having a great evening. I'm going to get this uh, situated for them, and uh, y'all just have a great rest of the week, and God bless.